uh, to another video. Today we're looking at question 2462, total cost to hire care workers. So we will be approaching this problem as we're using priority queue. Um, so priority queue will keep a track of all of the candidates that we're looking at a particular round. And while we store the candidates, we'll also store um, the part of the area that we took the candidate from, whether it's left or right. And once we remove that, um, since we have removed an element either from left or right, we add another element from left or right. Um, it's not too, too complicated, so let's jump right in priority queue. Right, um, and then this will take, instead of taking integers, it's all will store int array. And the reason why we'll be storing an int array is because we need to keep a track of not just the element itself, but also the um, the index, and we want to be able to sort it. So, and then we will provide uh, the sorting algorithm. Yeah, okay, so this is where we give the sorting algorithm. So let's actually bring this to the next line. Okay, so given two elements, let's say A and B, right? Um, so if they are equal, if a of zero, so we'll be storing the elements in 2D area where the, the value itself is stored in the zeroth index and whether it's from the left or the right uh, is stored in the first index. So if a of zero is equal to b of zero, right? And in that case, we need to take this lowest index, right? So we do a, um, a of one minus b of one. And uh, if if they are not equal, then you just need to take the values itself and store them according to the values. E minus zero. Uh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. So once we have that set up, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Then let's get the size of the entire array. So let's say cost dot length. And once we have the setup, all we need to do is we need to keep, um, we need to add the number of elements that we care about in the queue, right? So there are two case that we, uh, cases that we care about. So we need to add candidates from um, the left and the right. So, so if uh, candidates multiplied by two, so as in like we are adding from the left and right, if this is greater than or equal to um, the actual size of the array, right? Uh, it doesn't matter uh, whether it's left or right. So all you, all you need to do is pq dot offer, right? So new int, and then the elements will be, oh, you need a for loop. Uh, okay, so let's just do, uh, yeah, no, let's just do a for loop. For and i equals zero, i less than size uh, increment i, right? And then all you need to do is keep adding that to the priority queue and it'll sort itself out. So cost of i. And then it, at this point, it doesn't really matter whether you add zero or one. We'll just add zero to represent the uh, left, right? And uh, if the size is less than, um, if the number of candidates multiplied by two is less than the size, then what we need to do is we actually need to go from uh, add elements from left and we need to add elements from right as well. So we'll do this, right? And then to add elements from left, we'll do um, as simple as that. So pq.offer new int array with costs cost of i and then zero basically representing that it is the left side that we're adding it. And for the right side, we want to start from the end, right? So it'll be n minus i minus 1, uh, minus 1 because it's always n minus 1 since it starts with uh, the 0th index. And then uh, to represent that it actually that we actually added it from right, uh, we put 1. Honestly, this could be anything else as well. It could be uh, minus 1, 1, as long as you um, know the convention that you're following, it's completely okay. Um, all right, so we have the all the elements that we care about, at least for the first round in the priority queue. 
what we need to do now is to um, iterate through all of the all of the rounds, right? So let's initialize the for loop. So for int i equals zero, i less than k increment i. Um, let's just let's just pop from the queue. So uh, int current would be equal to pq dot poll, right? And then the sum, the result, all, all you need to do is add the current value. So current of zero, right? that is done but now that we have popped an element we need to add something back to um, uh, to the priority queue and the way you do it is you need to check whether the left index that we care about is actually um, not crossing the right index so we need to actually initialize that so left would be equal to um, Candidates, right? Candidate, and then int right would be equal to oh yeah, class exercise. So this would be size minus uh, minus candidates minus one. Yeah, and then if the only time you will be adding a particular um, value back into the priority queue is only if the left and the right index hadn't crossed each other. So if left is um, less than or equal to right, that's when we actually add the values, right? So what we do is uh, pq dot offer new int and you need to get the value so costs of current of one if it is equal to zero that means we've added it from the left so we would do left plus plus so basically what, what we're saying here is that hey like we've taken an element from the left so add something to the left or you subtract something from the uh, the right and add that. Uh, that is the first value. The second value would be the same as current of one. So we're, so basically you take pulling out a value either from left or right, and then since we're pulling a value from left or right, we need to add the same indicator back in. And then in the end, after you're done with all of that, you should you should just be able to return the result. Awesome. So let's try compiling this. Yeah, of course. Uh, oh, did I candidate? Uh, okay, let's try that again. I'll put six expected eleven. All right, three and three. That's fine. All right. So where did I go wrong? So it stops at candidates, and I wonder if this is the right index. So basically, here we go all the way. Oh, do we go all the way till size? We don't go all the way till size. We should just go till index. Uh, till the candidates, the number of candidates on it. Let's try that again. All right. Okay. So that was a problem. So basically, we needed to uh, loop through the for loop only till um, candidates. So you add um, candidate number of candidates from the left and the right, uh, and then you pursue uh, solving the rest of the solution. Awesome. So the first two solutions look, uh, test cases look okay. All right. Oh, all right. Uh, that's the other thing that we need to keep in mind always is that especially when we're resulting um we're sending back a result that has to do with sum of anything it's just better to initialize that as a long i should have taken the clue from the the type that's being returned but yeah that's a very uh, easy test edge case that people uh, get caught up with every time awesome so everything else looks okay uh, let's talk about this based on the time complexity 
the time complexity of the entire solution is of n since we are sorting the elements uh, that are given to us and that takes majority of the time uh, all of this takes off n time um, so this would be uh, where n log n is coming from and then the space complexity is also of n since we are using an additional data structure and in this case the priority queue to store all of the values along with their indices um, awesome so that's the solution if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video i would really appreciate that it definitely keeps me motivated to make more videos thanks so much and i'll see you folks soon peace